Greetings, Christ the King family, and welcome to our Monday devotion on this Labor Day. Um, the church office is closed today, and so we are um, hopefully all of us enjoying some time at home um, with our families. And yesterday, during my sermon, we talked a little bit about vocation, um, Martin Luther's understanding of vocation, um, and also what it means to have a vocation at all. Um, and I uh, wanted to read to you from Kate Bowler's uh, The Lives We Actually Have, 100 Blessings for Imperfect Days. Um, this blessing uh, for feeling like your work matters. Blessed are we who remember that we are not our job titles or paychecks or 401 case, but we are called, whether we like it or not, to something greater than ourselves. God, what is your call on my life? I am listening. Blessed are you who wonder if you'll ever find your vocation. You who desire to be part of the solution to the world's pain. May God nudge you in exactly the right direction where your gifts meet great need. Blessed are you if you have stepped away from a job due to retirement or a diagnosis or a life change. Life is different, but purpose remains. Blessed are you who wonder if your calling will cost too much. For you who do the good, hard work of serving others, the way you pour out may often go unnoticed, but today may you feel fresh wind in your sails because this is more than a job. It's a call. In our inbox, bless us. In our conference calls, bless us. When we clean and build, punch in and punch out, grant us meaning. Give us people to serve, customers to love, good work to do and pour back into us more than we pour out. After all, we are only human. And she includes this quote from Kristen Pinto uh, Forer's book. We are called to be a particular point of glory, fully alive, dwelling fully in the call of God. The whole person is then a space for God to resound. I hope that you are living into your call um, from God. Sometimes our vocation looks like exactly what we get paid to do. Sometimes our vocation uh, looks like living that out in other ways. Um, if you are discerning a vocation change um, or just discerning what vocation looks like for you at all, we'd love to talk to you about it. Um, uh, find trusted people uh, to talk to, um, maybe even look into spiritual direction and uh, what that means to uh, really discern um, a vocation. And remember, like we talked about yesterday, vocation just does, doesn't just mean um, service jobs, right? It's not just clergy or um, jobs that serve others, right? We live out our vocation in many different ways. And so I hope there are blessings for you as you figure out um, or live into your own vocation. Have a great day. Bye.